Hey, toy fans. I'm here with uh, E-Man, the master of his own universe. And who am I? Tay Raygun. Yeah, Tay Raygun. And we have another review for you today. So we're here reviewing... Uh, what, what do we have to review? What? what, what? Bullerama Fred. Buller, yeah, Bullerama Fred. You got it right. Flintstones, Bullerama Fred. So this is our first deluxe figure that we have from the Mattel brand of the Flintstones uh, movie line back from 1993. Uh, so box is pretty pretty okay, but you think we should get into the toy? Yeah. All right. Let's get it. I'm hot cooking now. This is our Bolorama Fred from the Flintstones from the Mattel line of the same name, the Flintstones from the 1993 film. Bolorama Fred is our first deluxe figure that we've reviewed. We did review Barney, the lawn mowing Barney to be precise. What I like about Fred in this box, I love that he's in a window box. We can actually get to see the figure so we know kind of what we're buying. We don't see the other parts like the hat and the bowling set and the ball until we open it up. But for getting this on the shelf, this is a nice display. I love the purple stonework within the box and I love the way that the box itself is cut up like rocks. Even though we got a pretty solid box all the way around, they kept the rock motif like with the card that was on the lawnmower and Barney here within the window, which is really cool. Against that purple, I love the yellow lettering. I love that kind of contrast between the purple and the yellow, including the yellow inside where Fred is. The top of the box, we get more pictures of the Flintstones. And then again, we know that's Bullerama Fred. Same on the sides. And on the back is when we kind of get to see a little bit more. Now, much like Barney, we have a file card here for the Bullerama Fred. So every character that comes out is going to have a file card that's going to be cut out towards the back over there. Now with this, we get to see that he does have an action feature. Uh, you gently push his arm back to set, slide ball onto his hand, and press switch down on back to release ball. So he is a bowling action feature Fred. Can't wait to check that out. Of course, down here in the bottom, we have more cross-sell art. Uh, it looks like for the vehicles, we got the LeSabertooth 5000, which we will do a review on eventually, and the uh, Flintmobile. Never could find one, though it is on my radar. We have the Dino Drilling Barney, the Bullerama Fred, which we're doing a review, the Big Bite Fred, Crash Test Barney, and those are our deluxe figures. We have a giant oversized, the Yabba Dabba Doo Fred. And then at the bottom are our single carded figures. Now down here, we have Betty and Bam Bam, Lawn Mowing Barney, which we've done a review, and if you're wondering, that review will be in the show notes. The Evil Cliff Vander K, which we will also do a review on. Hard Hat Fred, Villain Station Barney, Lickin' Dino, Wilman Pebbles, and Big Shot Fred, which I did just add to the list of ones to do down the road as well. That's the box, and it's not going to tell us too much more about this toy. Let's open it up and see what we got. And this is our Bullerama Fred out of the package. I really love the breakdown of the colors in this. The bright blues, the purples, the yellows. I really feel like this thing shines and the monkeys are a hysterical addition to the whole thing. Now, one thing to know is that originally I thought that the holes in their heads happened to be because their hats or something had a peg in them. The hats do not, but much like Barney, He's got a hole in his head. So that would tell me that there's some sort of a design thing that keeps our heads from breaking because of that hole. Now with Bowler or Fred, he does have a swivel head and there's not a lot that's gonna hinder the articulation on that. And his head is very soft and squishy. We have a swivel arm, it goes up and down and nothing is stopping that arm from going up and down except for the very top collar of this. We do have hinge legs. Now, he does bend down a lot more than Barney so much that, ooh, he falls over face flat. Whereas Barney kind of stood up to about here, his goes down a lot further. And of course, he can lean back and try to do the limbo. And 
with that this arm however is not necessarily a big time poser as much as it is an action feature that's right you pull this arm back you press here under the water buffaloes and he is supposed to bowl that ball away let's see how it works of course we put his bowling hat on the directions say to tilt him back and then it, ah! <laughs> we tilt him back a little bit I guess not too much then we're going to slide the ball onto his hand now with this we're supposed to line it up and oh <laughs> directly off the shelf Third time's a charm. Let's try it. Hey! And of course, if all these get knocked down, you press the monkey's back, and it's supposed to make all the bowling pins go back up. Now, along with our Fred, I do want to have a comparison time against Barney. So that way we can see the two together. Now, these two, they're going to be a little bit different in size. Fred is a little bit taller than, than Barney. But all in all, they're pretty much the same. Same build, only five points of articulation. A lot of the articulation is hindered by something on them. So the legs, they don't kick all the way out in front, and it's because of those long skirt-like shirts. This is not gonna happen. But for what we get, Fred has so much more range and articulation on his legs than Barney. And that's pretty much it for the Bullarama Fred. It's hard to figure out exactly where he's going to bowl the ball because his arm is at a, a tilt, so it doesn't really shoot forward. Um, it doesn't really knock down all the pins, including, like, when I go and knock them down, like, they still don't want to knock down all the way. And the monkey is kicking it back up. All of these are fun features, and I can see where a kid's going to absolutely love this. And if you have a kid that's really getting into bowling, maybe doesn't really care much for Flintstones, this would be a fun toy for them. If you get a kid that really likes Flintstones, this would probably be still a really good toy for them. All in all, this really feels like a good, solid, fun toy. The only thing Fred doesn't come with that I really feel like he should is one of those Beaversaurus chainsaws. Okay, so that's pretty much it on Bullarama Fred. He's a pretty cool figure. I was very happy to have found him and got him. Out of the two deluxe figures, there was the Big Mouth Fred and then the Bullarama Fred. And I happened to kind of go for the Bullarama because I liked the idea of having this like set piece, this piece of scenery here. Love the monkeys. The I think it has a see no evil, hear no evil, say no evil part to them. You said the monkeys look like what? Chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah, they kind of molded in a chocolate brown kind and of kind of thing yeah and, and the mouth one and the mouth fred scared him yeah i didn't like the mouth fred it, it looked kind of weird but with bullarama fred you know it has a hole in his head much like barney so you already know i'm gonna take off points on that uh but i understand for design it's probably there for a purpose though the heads are kind of squishy which tells me they probably have plenty of space to get the the air out I do like the aspect of the hat. I really dig his buffalo helmet. And the ball is a lot of fun, too. <laughs> that ball is fun. The The one thing I thought was kind of weird is that it has a handhole on either side. And neither one of them really fit that well. So it's that was a little off, in my opinion. So what was your favorite part of this toy? <laughs> Oh, the action feature? Yeah. I, th I thought that was really cool, too. Um, For me, I think my favorite part was the scenery yeah. piece. I love that. Yeah, I really like that. I think that'll display really well. So, out of five stars, and remember, five stars meaning that five is like the highest, you know, compliment you can give, okay? How many stars would you give this? I would give it six. Six. Six out of five. So, you must like this one a lot, huh? Yeah. Cool, okay, well. Well, I'm kind of bored with it. You're kind of bored with it. Well, out of the mouth of babes right there, so. Because I, because I really want, like, 
like um all of the other ones that he have like out so I can play a whole thing. Eventually we'll get to all that. Okay, for me, you gave it six out of five. I'm going to give it um four out of five, four and a half actually out of five. And the reason why is like I, I love the look of John Goodman in this toy is spot on. It's really good. Um, I also like the action feature. I think it's a lot of fun, and I, I could see where you can get like a lot of toyality out of it, so a lot of playtime. Um, I like the additions that we get. The the bowling ball is nice. The uh, the actual scenery piece, the actual bowling alley is really cool. That the uh, water buffalo uh, hat is really cool, and just the deco and the paint job on him is spot on. So for me. I really feel like this toy was firing on all cylinders. I'm taking off again for the hole in the head, which I, I, they're unsightly, but it's not as bad as the Barney one. And I think the reason why is because the Barney one, he's got that blonde hair. So that thing just stands out like a tick on his head. Whereas with Fred, he's got black hair. You don't see it. So that doesn't bother me too much. Hey, looky there. The one thing he is missing, he's missing a beaver source chainsaw. <laughs> Yeah. So. Beaver source chainsaw. Beaver source chainsaw. Give me a beaver source chainsaw. So that's why I'm here talking toys. All right. So remember, they're not dolls, are they? What are they? Action figures. Buddha Roman Fred. If you like what you see, be sure to hit that like button. Also, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'll have more of these toy videos coming to you soon. This episode of Tay Ray Gun was sponsored by Marvin Dog Media. To learn more about Marvin Dog Media, visit www.marvindogmedia.com.